Shannon, how are you? Hi, I'm so good. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Again, I'm seeing all of you guys again, as I spoke to you all during the pandemic, which is a bit... Oh my gosh, we met two years ago. <laughs> two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, virtually. <laughs> we virtually met, didn't yes. we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, congrats- yeah, congratulations on the show again. Thank you so much. Um, you now have a bit of a fan base. You have some people interested in, in the show. Have you guys got your head around the fact that the show has gone out there now and now you have that fan base and people are really excited to see where you guys are going to go next. I'm still wrapping my mind around how big this show has just blown up. Um, I, I just remember looking at my Instagram cause that's, that's how we just got all of our information. Cause we were all kind of in our apartments and couldn't go anywhere and just notifications started blowing up and, this season filming in Atlanta, meeting people and how excited they are and how much they love like the characters in the show. It's, it's been really incredible. Like so, so, so happy. Were you anticipating it being this big when you first started, when you first like auditioned and everything else, did you, did you, did you sense that it was going to be something special? Absolutely. That's why I had to audition. Like I read the script and I thought this show is something special and it's something Hollywood has never seen. There's no show like this on TV. And I thought I absolutely must be a part of this. And it's just going to be such a such a special uh, moment in, in television history for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like going back for season two? Because now, as I say, you've got the you've got the fan base, but also this kind of expectation. And you guys obviously very excited to see where Katori takes you. What was your kind of takeaway when you got the scripts for season two about the evolution of the show and of your character? Everything this season, I feel, is just heightened and elevated from the hair and makeup and wardrobe to how we expand on, on, on the character storylines. Just everything is just... Katori did an absolutely beautiful job and everyone in the writer's room, I would read the script and just be absolutely just shocked, gobsmacked. I, w- I would watch some of the some of the footage and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks like a kaleidoscope. Just the way it's shot, it's just visually stunning. And I'm just so excited for this season. Really, really and- cool. Yeah, and all, I mean, all the characters are so well written that you've all got space to breathe. You, you, it's not just like, there's not like a, a star or a, two people who are the focus. It's all of you guys, which is kind of kind of refreshing in some respects that there's every facet of this world and these people are all given as much oxygen as everybody else. Yes. Yeah, I love that. It's good, isn't it? What, your character, she's been through, she's on a journey. Everyone, you're all on a journey. And this one, I... I can imagine it was exciting for you to, to go back. What were you anticipating was going to happen in season two when you left her at the end of season one and had to wait, you know, two years like everybody else to see where, where she was going to go? Yeah, we had two years to really um, to really think about it and, and, and have all kinds of ideas of where it would go. And, and no matter what I thought, the script took me in a completely different, completely different direction. Um, I was hoping that Keyshawn in some way this season would redeem herself because we leave it on this very interesting note at the at the last episode of season one and i think i think audiences Keyshawn's gonna take them on a ride but (laughs) i think she does in some ways uh redeem herself for sure i was gonna say your your character's arc is very interesting because she is at that point where she kind of wants to do good and wants to redeem herself. What was it like going back in season two in terms of seeing that evolution of her? Because it's always good in a season two of a show where you get to see the kind of evolution of characters and yours in particular. She's, you know, she, you hope that she gets to a point where she's kind of happy and gets yeah. to redeem herself from, from what happened in season one. She, she really does soar this season. You see Keyshawn fly and it's really fun to see this glow up um and all of the success from from um from her viral moment last season with Lil Marta they're now going on tour and she's just got all of this stuff going on she's her face is on 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 her own line of products now and it's it's really cool to see this this newfound success that she has and, and watch her enjoy that 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, the little murder relationship is is an interesting one. What was it like for you guys to to play with that? Because again, it's in season two, you get to expand on it, you get to do more things and everything else. But it, it feels like it's a relationship that, despite everything, it's it's a good one, I guess, in some respects. Yeah, it starts off as a business relationship. And I think there's an understanding that they are pretending to, they, they are presenting themselves as a couple. Um, and then in, in season two, you really see this beautiful bond that has, has flourished and they are now, it feels like a brother sister bond this season for sure. They, they get really close. Yeah. And in amongst all that, you get this amazing ensemble. And I've I've had the pleasure of talking to you all a couple of years ago when you were all so excited and you were putting a show out, but also you had the, I guess, the obstacle in some respects that you, you know, the pandemic, but everyone was kind of at home. So everyone was so excited. What was it like going back for season two? Did you guys have like a shorthand? Was it much more relaxed and much more easy to kind of do everything? Because the guys have said to me that it was, but also you now have the rules and regulations that you guys have to have to follow. It was nice coming back because you feel like you really like settled in and slipped into this character's skin. You have you have a good understanding who of who your character is. Um, we've we've built a rapport with each other, so there's a comfort level in that. Like who I'm working with as far as my scene partners. COVID made it. It, it was difficult. It was difficult for sure. Like the, the the masks and everything, and and just uh, the the social distancing and all of that was it was challenging, but we we all got through it and and found ways to make it fun. Are you hoping that you all get together for like a, a premiere? Because I know obviously you're probably in different parts of America and everything else. But are you hopeful? Because last year you kind of didn't get to, or like last season should we say, we didn't really get to didn't really get to do it. So I can imagine there's a want to have a nice big party and a nice big celebration. No, we have a premiere. We have we have our first premiere um excellent ever. Our first in-person premiere is is happening um soon and we are all so excited. So I I, I can't wait. That's gonna be good. And the other thing as well is that that shows the success of the show is when you guys kind of you've infiltrated social media you know there's clips on tiktok there's clips on instagram there's people yeah. with fan pages and the hopes and dreams of what might happen or the, the fantasy elements of all that have you guys kind of do you kind of keep an eye on that and see what what the fans are saying because they always kind of want more but also they're so in love with the show that they just want to celebrate it with everybody i have I have seen some of it. There's so much of it that there's no way I can. There's so I can. much of it. <laughs> but I've seen like there are girls who send me, who send me photos of themselves dressed up as Kishan. Um, Lizzo has, she had a party and I think it was for Halloween and her and all of her friends were dressed up as us. So Lizzo was Uncle Clifford, and then you had somebody as Mississippi. It was, <laughs> it was so fun and so cool. P-Valley watch parties, P-Valley birthday parties. Um, it's been in every post I've had up until we dropped the trailer. It was like, why are you on vacation? Why are you not at the pink? Or <laughs> it could be, any, <laughs> when are we getting a date? So yeah. I guess that's testament to the show in the sense that, you know, you've kind of semi made it when other celebrities are like, let's have a P-Valley, P-Valley watch party. Let's all dress up as the, as the guys and, and put it on Instagram. Yeah. That's a bit mental now in a, in a strange way. It's a little bit strange, I guess, for you guys, but good, but strange. <laughs> I it's special. I just didn't know how big the show would get. And I didn't know, like, even in, 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 in trying on these clothes, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a moment. I feel like for Halloween, somebody, I, I made that comment, not thinking that people were actually going to dress like us for Halloween. So that, that was a real treat. <laughs> that's when you know you've made it. That's when you know yeah. that's, the, that's the seal of approval right there. <laughs> uh, Shannon, lovely to talk to you again. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, good luck with the show and enjoy your premiere. Hope it goes thank well you, for you. Thank you, so thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching... Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Yeah. Nice. Hey, you 